Hi, my name is Bobby Lee Barr, and I am the Community Life Director at Calvary, and I'm here with Dan Volk. Dan, if you will just tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, like Bobby said, my name is Dan Falk. Uh, my wife, Heidi, and I have been uh, at Calvary for <clears throat> nearly 20 years um, with our four children. Um, I currently am on the security team and am, have had past involvement on the deacon board. Um, and that's who I am. Okay, awesome. Um, so you reached out looking for ways to serve. What prompted that desire? Um, I guess I've always had the desire to um, help serve and just for um, a, a number of years I've um, tried to find ways to extend myself, our, our resources, my time, whatever I can to try to serve um, when I can. And so that's pretty much, pretty, pretty simply, that's, that's pretty much it. And to try to follow the um, example that we're to um, extend ourselves and, and strive to be um, an example of Christ. Very good. Uh, you got connected with Hope, Cl Hope Clinic specifically, and you signed up as a volunteer. What was your experience like when you volunteered? Tell us a little bit about what you did. So I volunteered this past week down at Hope Clinic um, as part of their food program. <clears throat> um, really simple, pretty low stress. Um, I just I signed up and uh, went down there uh, this past Monday and um, just basically helped them serve food. Um, their, their dinner meals, they do that five, five days a week. Um, so there was a team of people that were preparing the meal. And I was part of three other folks that were basically bagging up those meals, um, handing them out the door. Unfortunately, because of the COVID-19 situation, they don't have the dining room open. So people are basically just handing out meals to them um, through the door. And um, just when we had an opportunity, we got, to the, got able to, were able to chit chat with them a little bit, but um, that was basically pretty much it. Um, it was really, really safe. Um, we walked in, um, they took our temperature to make sure we were okay. Um, if we didn't already have a face mask, they gave us a mask. Um, and there was, uh, we had gloves. Uh, like I said, there's only six of us there in this big room. So I wasn't really ever close to anybody. Um, so it was safe and it was, it was, like I said, it was pretty, pretty low stress, pretty simple. And just, but just a neat way to kind of uh, serve and see <clears throat> others in need and, and try to lend a helping hand where we can. And you mentioned that y'all are, that they are, are doing hot meals five days a week. About how many people would you say that you, that y'all served that day? Uh, on Monday, uh, we served, I think over, a little over 70 meals. Um, and I, um, from what I gathered, <clears throat> that's about average from what they, they typically do. I think it's important that you share just the, the safety precautions that they're taking and wanting to just be really responsible in that. Uh, Hope Clinic is considered essential and, and the work that they're doing is very much essential. And uh, so it's really cool that you were able to get connected with them and, and go down there and, and serve in that way. Are there any other things that you would want to share about your experience at Hope Clinic? No, just <clears throat> one thing I thought of, um, while I was there is like, you know, I, personally I haven't had like too much anxiety um, with this pandemic and uh, we don't know too many people directly connected to us that have been too affected. So, um, but I know others um, do have far more reason to be anxious about it. But what I, what I understood, whenever you're helping somebody else or involved in something, it gives you some other way to focus the energy on, right? So if I'm if I'm anxious or nervous, then if I can focus on something else, serving somebody else, it kind of, it, it, it takes that away. So um, I think that's a really important aspect um, of it. Not only, so I, in any, any time I've ever served in any way like that, um, you know, you, you, you go there serving, well, I'm going to be a blessing to these people, but in reality, um, you're the one that ends, ends up getting blessed because um, A, you understand what you have, what you've been given, and um, if you can use that in, just like I said, in any small way, something as small as bagging up a meal and hand to somebody, which is really, really no big deal, but um, it's, it's a blessing to um, serve. Yeah, very true. Uh, I think that's so important, which you pointed out, because like you said, this, during this time, um, I think a lot of people are experiencing um, on varying levels that degree of, of fear, anxiety, and uh, it's so important to not remain 
like crippled or paralyzed by those feelings. And for you to be able to um, just engage and actively live out what it means to be the hands and feet of Christ and focus, put your focus and energy and serving, um, I think is just an important way that we can um, live and remain in him and abide in him during this time and not some of those um, emotions that can, can tend to overtake at times. So I appreciate so much um, you going down there and, and just getting connected with them. Um, I, did you get a chance to tour the facility or anything like that when you're there? I don't think, or they're not allowed. Yeah. yeah. No. Um, it's, it's a really unique facility. Um, and like the, the dining hall area in general, the, the, the way their whole clinic is set up is just, um, it's really cool. So I, and like you said, I'm so glad that you were able to go down there because it's, it always ends up being much more of a blessing for us, um, to be able to just be able to serve people during that during in, in anything um, so one option or one opportunity or way to serve with obviously for Hope Clinic was obviously to go there and volunteer uh, they do have the sign up genius link which you were able to go to and get signed up and connected with uh, there's a lot of other opportunities that people can can take on as well to serve specifically with Hope Clinic uh, they have a donations list on their website that we have linked on our uh, community life needs page uh, at cbcjoy.org slash needs. There's a list of different items that they're looking for. They're looking for masks still as they are passing those out to the people that they are giving meals to. Um, and there's just, there's a lot of great opportunities. You also can um, give through Calvary to Calvary Loves. And, and designate certain funds to any of our outreach partners or any of those campaigns as well too. So thanks again, Dan, for being willing to just share with us what your experience is like. No problem, thank you.